Hasbro is getting ready for its very first season since obtaining the rights to the much-coveted television series Power Rangers. They will be adapting 2012's Tokumei Sentai Go Busters into their 2019 Power Rangers Beast Morphers. The season will take place in the future, in which scientists will create a new substance called Morph X, which they combine with animal DNA to create a new team of Rangers, our Power Rangers Beast Morphers. They will have to fight off a virus that is bent on infecting the morphing grid, and basically the source of all Power Rangers, which is an amazing plot by itself. But I can't help but wonder, does this involve any other seasons? Let's find out. I'm sure many of you had the same idea as me when you heard the word virus. Okay everyone, it's conspiracy time. Time to get in gear. RPM, the bad boy of the Power Rangers universe, so bad it gets its own dimension. Anyways, if you've never seen RPM, go watch it, as this video contains spoilers for RPM and many other seasons as well. RPM is set in the near future, in which a computer virus named Vinjix has infected every computer system in the world, except one place, the domed city of Corinth, home to the last surviving humans and RPM operators. To make a long story short, the RPM rangers win and give the morphers back to Dr. K for safekeeping and leave. However, an ominous red glow is seen coming from Scott's morpher, hinting that Vinjix did die. He is simply hiding in his morpher. Now, I don't think Vinjix is the new virus in Beast Morphers. I think it's likely to be a new virus. However, I do think there is a possibility that this new virus was either derived from Vinjix or was made by Vinjix himself before he died. Obviously, Beast Morphers isn't out yet, but in Go Busters, their weapons are teleported to them and not created out of thin air like other seasons, which reminds me of Dr. K, how the ranger suits in RPM exist all the time, but they're just teleported to the rangers when they morph. I just thought I'd point that out, it's something interesting. Alright, now time for some mini theories. The new zords in Beast Morphers remind me of the folding zords in Samurai, the way they have their first form, and then an animal form, and then the megazord. This season may have connections to the Jungle Fury as well, with the whole animal thing they have going for this season, and the sunglass theme on the Morphers, SPD and Time Force because they're in the future and someone's gonna say it at some point. Wild Force, since at the end of the season they have tons of wild zords, which the scientists in the new season can base their zords off of. Operation Overdrive, as their technology seems to be more available to the government as seen in RPM, making an easy case study. Those are the very few, very circumstantial evidence I found of connections to past seasons. But then again, we haven't seen much of it, as it's not even out yet. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen any more connections that I missed. Also, Hasbro, if you're watching this, please listen. Please, please, please adapt Lupin Ranger vs. Patch Ranger. Anyways, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Peace.